Jack Opal, Bud Barley Family of Homes, building greener, building smarter. Bill Nelson, simply working harder. All right, Jack, I want to talk about everybody that comes to us when we go to do a custom home is, is price per square foot driven. And then part of the problem is us realtors have trained them on price per square foot. But it, it's really about, you know, that is a great tool for standard home and standard subdivision, but it doesn't really work in comparing custom builders because, well, you tell me why it doesn't, but you know, it's just some of the things that I'm thinking about is, you know, the cost of the lot, the lot prep, the, you know, you tell me some of the other things that... You touched on it when you said the price per foot is a good way for, say, for an appraiser to compare very similar homes on, on the same street or in a very similar neighborhood because right. then it, it, it's somewhat of a way for them to compare the relative value. The, I mean, the issue is when you get into a custom residence, everybody's vision of what they want in their custom home, thus the word custom, it's a little different. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've heard, well, we want it, we want it really nice. <laughs> well, really nice is, is, a, is a moving target. Right. Uh, so things such as the, the fin level of finish out, the lot conditions that you mentioned, all of those type of things, even the appliance package can make a difference. Tell, I mean, just to give people an idea, so I don't know the, the roof pitch numbers, but flat roof versus steep roof is what what difference in cost on a 4,000 uh, square foot house? A, a steeper, a steeper pitch, uh, there seems to consider on the steeper pitch. Uh, one, in certain instances, you get up to a certain uh, pitch, uh, your labor is a little bit higher because those guys, it's harder for them to work up on there. It's like a mountain goat on the side of a cliff. Uh, also, you have more material because as the roof pitch increases, there's more surface area for the roof material to cover. But so on a custom home, that's, that could be fifteen or twenty thousand dollars more, but it creates that cool. It, look. Gives, it can give you a good look. Uh, yeah. Also, you know, kind of the, the reverse of that is say you're a Mediterranean style home with or a tile roof. Tessus, with tile roof, you have, generally have lower pitches, uh, which in some neighborhoods, if you're going to have a lower pitch for the covenants. Uh, usually they'll allow that if it is, say, like a Mediterranean home where you can have a tile roof or some type of roof material like and, that. And now, I, now that's I've an expensive fifty, sixty thousand dollars in a roof versus it's, the other roof. It right? can it can reach that, yes. Okay. What about you know? A lot of times people aren't paying attention to things like you know eight foot solid core doors, the the plate height. So and, and I don't even think most people know what plate height is. But the oh, you're the, talking about the, the kitchen cabinet or <laughs> the the first floor being what nine, ten, or eleven. Yeah. The ceiling heights and what we mean by that, the plate height. We're talking about the top plate of the wall that the roof rafters come and they'll sit on. Right. Or in a two story, it could be the floor joist for the floor above you. Plate height is simply a reference to the ceiling height. Eight foot plate. Nine foot plate, ten foot plate, things like all that. of it costs you know, incrementally more. The as it, as it gets higher, it gets the higher you get, the higher the cost. Well, so what? There's no good. There's no good rule of thumb then, really, to to advise somebody on custom house until they sit down and talk to you. the The thing that I'm trying to avoid is people ruling out a really good quality builder that's been in the market. You know for. 30 years and is going to be here longer, you know, how do we, how do we make sure that they come talk to somebody like you before they let some rookie build their house because he promised them $100 a square foot? The, the thing that, that is, needs to be remembered about everybody is that there's no magic bullet. The materials cost everybody within reason, close to, close to the same. Uh, sometimes for, for us, for instance, we reach certain levels of, of certain volume of purchasing. It helps us to some degree, but there is there's no magic bullet. So if someone is quoting you a price per foot that sounds low in comparison to what uh, other people are telling you homes have been built for, uh, usually that's a red flag that they're they're not talking about the same thing. It's not apples to apples. So it's it's not they're taking it out of their profit. They're simply giving us less home. Right. Yeah, often <laughs> times. The, the, the margins, uh, the typical uh, building, the margins in the building industry uh, are, are not significantly, uh, they're not as high as what most people would perceive. Uh, if you simply go to the annual reports of the public home builders and look and see what they uh, net as a percentage of their gross sales, I think most people would be astounded. Well, one, one, one thing that uh, I do know is that, is that 
I've seen the internal workings of your company enough to know that you're big enough to be safe and you're small enough to be efficient. So that, that's one of the reasons that we really like you guys as a builder. And we, we appreciate you coming in and we're going to get a lot of people come talk to you this year. That's what I like to hear. All thanks, right. Bill. All right, thanks.